They eat, swim, and play. A day in the life of the African penguins at Jenkinson's Aquarium. During our visit, the curious birds like nibbling at my boots and checking out the camera lens. Whoa. They're like little kids and every one of them has a personality in this colony. So everything around them they have to touch and feel, make sure it's okay, it's not going to hurt them. Here they're protected, but the African penguins listed as endangered. Back in the 1950s, there was actually an estimated 140,000 mating pairs total in South Africa. Today, it's actually only 17,000. Assistant Supervisor of Penguins, Rig and Quargan says global climate change, habitat loss, oil spills and overfishing in South Africa are a few of the factors contributing to their declining population. But at this aquarium, the penguin numbers are growing. Reagan says Jenkinson's Aquarium wants to keep strong, genetically hardy penguins. That's why they're part of the African Penguin Species Survival Plan. The goal is to replenish the population in the wild in the future if necessary over time. There are 22 penguins here at the aquarium. They all have names and are identified with bracelets. There are 18 species of penguin. The birds can't fly. These flippers or wings, you can call them, they actually are made for swimming. They're more like paddles on a boat. The water's where they hunt for food, squid or other small fish. The penguins can swim up to 15 to 20 miles per hour in the water. They do things based on texture. Uh, they have no taste buds and no teeth. So it all has to be how the fish feels. The birds counter shading camouflage helps protect them at home in South Africa. They have a white belly and a very dark back, so it's kind of like this hide and seek game that they're doing. The white will blend them in with the top of the sunlit ocean water. The black back will blend them in when they dive down to the deep depths. At a glance, you can't tell if these penguins are boys or girls. When they're about like a month or two months old, we actually take a little blood sample from their foot. We send it to a lab and they actually are looking for a nucleated red blood cell. They can tell chromosomes that way. Jenkinson's Aquarium's oldest penguin is 29. Reagan says they can live up to 15 to 20 years in the wild. The air temperature at home in the aquarium is kept at 70 degrees, but they can live in even warmer temperatures in South Africa. The birds have freckles on their belly, something researchers are using to study the penguins. Not every penguin is alike. It's actually like a fingerprint for African penguins, their freckles. If you have a, black, a bunch of black and white subjects, you really don't know who's who. So they actually will take photographs of the penguins' bellies. You can literally track their history, track how well they're doing. At the aquarium, it's usually visitors taking the photos. It's pretty obvious. These penguins aren't camera shy. In Point Pleasant Beach, I'm Lauren Wonko. NJTV News.